What is up my fellow PVC practitioners? It's Chris with Tabletops and Tentacles here with another Bones 5 character rundown. I'm still working through the core set here. I've finally assembled some of the larger creatures and the magical effects. And I thought they would be fun to rotate on a cheap little spinny thing that I tore off a spice rack. Thanks to everyone that subscribed and joined the channel with these. I appreciate it. So first up, we've got some of the magical effects, which are all clear plastic, and they're a lot of fun. They're just big fists doing different things. We've got the punchy fist here, and it's floating. This was a glue on one, but it was real simple, just three pieces. And now we have the wall, which is... <laughs> One of my favorite sets. I do kind of like that it's slightly warped. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but it gives it a little bit of a magic feel to it. We've got a golem here, big guy. A little boring, but he works. He's more of a statue than he is a golem, but you can see him coming alive and punching somebody. This golem's a little more clay facey, a little more naked, and I, I kind of like him. He's kind of dynamic looking. He's got a very clay look to him. We've got the grabby hand, which I think is really cool. It's probably my favorite of the fist. I assume these are attached to a spell. I never play spell casters, so I'm not super familiar with most of the spells, I'll be honest. Uh, speaking of which, here's some little assorted spell pieces. Most of them have inexplicable hands attached, so I guess you're supposed to tear off your character's hand and put these on with magnets or something? I don't know. Uh, here's another naked floating ghost man with a elongated alien head. Not one of my favorite pieces, but it's interesting. It's probably nice to have if you use spells. I do really like this like plinth here with the spell image on the top of it there for your your demonic spellcaster, or just a really nice little Ouija board party. Here's the talk to the hand hand. That I, it looks really good. I actually really like the sculpting of the knuckles and the that little bit of wrinkle on the top of the hand. There looks really nice. Here they are compared to some traditional minis. I chose that guy because he's fun. Holds them really well, actually. I'm kind of impressed with how well you can just slip a mini into that hand. The Wall of Thorns is probably one of my favorites from the core set as far as the spells and traps are concerned. I just think it looks really dynamic and cool. I wish I'd painted it before I assembled it, but that's okay. The Loot Golem is epic. Uh, the amount of detail in this clear figure is pretty impressive. I had no idea what to do with that, like, curtain rod thing at first, but I'm pretty sure I put it in the right spot. Uh, he's going to be a really interesting challenge to pick out the details and find a way to paint him that the translucency is used without just painting over most of it with gold so i'm gonna have to play with it a little bit and really pick out the details on that one this bed knobs and broomsticks fellow here is a delight to me i wanted to straighten him out but i actually like him sort of wobbly and half falling forward you can't go wrong with a like a stained glass ghost knight <laughs> well i guess you can but they did not uh, this is the Kalitus Litorplath or something like that. He looks like a mud dragon, and I actually really like him. He was fairly easy to assemble. His lower jaw and his he top head and his tail and then the base. Okay, I guess it's pronounced Katobopas. I have no idea. Here's a three-headed ogre. <laughs> I like this guy. He's a little crazy, a little silly. His tongue sticking out of one of his faces. He's got a gigantic teddy bear. That teddy bear is the kind you see people driving around in like a Mini Cooper convertible with, if you compare it to a standard Mini. So I don't know who's making this gigantic teddy bear for this guy, but good on him. Here's the thing from the well. And this was an interesting one to put together. I legitimately had no idea 
how the water was supposed to interact with it without looking at the picture. And then I made the mistake of gluing it into the well, which is what it was intended to do. But when you take it out, look at how cool it is. And you've got an empty well that you could sculpt some water for as well as the figure. So I tore it out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the dragon lion. I think it's really cool looking. I actually like the weird mix of scale and fur on this particular one and his wings look really cool. And it was an easy assembly. The Narth Nartholisk here is probably my least favorite of the figures. It's of the dragon figures. It's just a little awkward and silly looking and doesn't stand very well um, because he doesn't have a real base just his feet and his tail on there and I just eh, not in love with him but he's not awful he's a nice traditional dragon-ish character here we've got the wolf dragon and I like him a lot again it's a nice scale to fur ratio the wings are a lot uh, veinier and a little creepy looking but really fun this one I had to flex a little bit to get to stand up but it's really cool looking I can't decide what color scheme to use for it but it's cool and finally the gem dragon and this is a really cool figure it was in seven or eight pieces and a little tricky to figure out how it was supposed to be posed but once you figure it out it looks so cool leaning on this like plinth of crystal and i'm kind of in love with this figure i think it looks really cool it's got a very dynamic pose when you can see how it's posed and it's just a neat idea and that is it for this run through i will be back with i think the last video of the core set in a couple of days as always, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can support our Patreon at patreon.com slash deeply dapper. And the most efficient way to support our channel is to hit subscribe and like and watch other videos here on Tabletops and Tentacles. Thanks for watching, everyone. May you live in interesting times.